praise the Lord hallelujah welcome again to our Monday 15 minutes podcast remember I always ask for your indulgence if today is your first time of joining us on my youtube channel please i ask you to subscribe to our youtube channel so that you can always follow our series of teaching how do you do it press on subscription and then a bell will come out press on the bell and then you are a subscriber what do i have to lose nothing what do you have to get everything like what every time the podcast is ready youtube will always inform you so that you will know that the podcast is ready and then at your uh, at your leisure time then you can always follow us okay um today i want to start us on a new series of teaching which i call don't ignore tight don't ignore tight now you see we have just finished a nine part series on uh, making riches last forever and uh, if you have followed that series and if you did not i will ask you to also check it out um i shared with us about five steps seeking knowledge seeking knowledge above money teaching people value for money and then enterprise and then persistence and then secure then secure your money hallelujah now listen to this i didn't mention tight in the five steps so i've decided to leave tight out so that it can be a full blown subject on its own and uh, don't ignore tight is not really my own topic or caption but you see i want to show us from my text that that was from the mouth of christ himself and i'm going to be taking my text from matthew 23 23 which says woe unto you scribes and pharisees hypocrites for ye pay now that is jesus himself talking jesus said for ye pay now he didn't say for you give he said for ye pay tight of mint and anise and come in and have omitted the weightier matters of the law judgment mercy and faith this t-h-e-s-e -E -S -E, this referring to judgment mercy and faith in this in this version he said this ought ye to have done and not to leave the other o-t-h-e-r the other one undone now the one he says you should not live undone is tight is that in other words don't ignore tight he said you should do judgment mercy and faith but do you know what you must not ignore tight so that is where i got the caption from i know there are too many uh controversies on this subject of tight but i believe god that uh, you will get more clarity on this subject here because i've done a series before on the subject of tight which i call liberty to tight you can run through my videos you will see it liberty to tight and then by the time you follow us through this one you will now have another better understanding now tight is weighty now don't get that mixed up from what jesus said in that matthew 23 23 he said and i've omitted the weight here he used the language weight here now if he said I omitted the weightier matters of the law that means that tight is weighty so tight is weighty so don't get that mixed up but there are other things discussed in the law of moses that are weightier than tight there's no argument over it so the question is not that jesus is playing down on the subject of tight no is not what he's saying is that there are weightier matters of the law like judgment mercy and faith than tight in that matthew 23 23 
That's the meaning. It's a word to you, scribes and Pharisees, hypocrites, for you pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin and have omitted the weightier matters of the law. So if you say you have omitted the weightier matters of the law, so you admitted that tithe is weighty. Okay, now tithe is weighty. And the reason why judgment or justice, because that's the meaning of that word, some translations put it as justice, is weightier, is this. Is this. If wrong judgment is passed, and a man is sentenced to death and executed, a life is lost. That is, a, a life is lost. So, just, judgment or justice is weightier than matter or tithe in this case. Did you see that? So that's why justice is weightier. Hallelujah. That's why we should not make people who are crazy about money to be a judge in the land. In fact, anybody who is aspiring to be heavily rich, they should not, they should not be put in the position of judgment. This should not be put in the position of judgment. So you see, judge, judge, judgment is weightier than, than tithe. Now, that is because if wrong judgment is passed and a man is sentenced to death and executed, a life is lost wrongly. So, judgment is weightier than money or tithe in this case. Now, the same with mercy, the mercy of God. The mercy of God. We are all beneficiary of the Lord's mercy. Of the Lord's mercy. According to a passage like Romans 9, 15 to 18. Now, I, now I want you to have a good picture of the mercy that Christ is talking about. For he said to Moses, he said to Moses, I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. I will have compassion on whom I will have compassion. So then, it is not of him that will it, nor of him that run it, but of God that showeth mercy. For the scripture said unto Pharaoh, even for this same purpose have I raised thee up, that I might show my power in thee, and that my name might be declared throughout all the earth. Therefore, had he mercy on whom he will have mercy, and show on whom he will, he harden it. Now we all know what happened to Pharaoh. Now you wouldn't pray that what happened to Pharaoh should happen to your enemy. But do you know what? It's all brought down to God's mercy. So you cannot quantify mercy in cash. No. It's weightier than money. We need the mercy of God more than we need money. I would rather choose God's mercy over money. Okay. Now, the third one, fidelity, which is the word translated faith. If you consider another translation in that Matthew 23, 23, that says, what to use Christ of Pharisees, pretenders, hypocrites, for you give, now I'm reading from Amplified Version, for you give a tenth of your mint and deal and come in, and have neglected and omitted the weightier, more important matters of the Lord right and justice and mercy and fidelity this you off particularly to have done without neglecting the other without neglecting the others now fidelity which is the word translated faith if you consider another transition in that matthew 22 19, is a weightier matter than money no woman watching me right now will prefer a rich man to a faithful man even though money is important in our marriages to make them work money is not to be chosen over fidelity every woman will choose fidelity over money this is why it's a weightier matter than tithe or money in that Matthew 23 23 hallelujah that's why it's a weightier matter Do you understand? so that's why Jesus said Justice, mercy, and uh, fidelity are weightier matters than tithe. Are you listening to me now? So he said we must give attention to them while we do not ignore tithe. Okay, it's evident that something was wrong. When Jesus started this message with war in that Matthew 23 23, did you notice that? Now, if you read King James, what King James, I say, Woe unto you, scribes and Pharisees, 
hypocrites, for ye pay tithe of mint and anise and cumin, and have omitted the weightier matters of the Lord, judgment, mercy, faith. Uh, this ought he to have done and not to leave the other undone. Now, now look at it. It started with the language war. With the language war. Now, if you read that in New Living Translation, it explains what is the meaning of war. <laughs> Here I put it. He said, What sorrow awaits you? Sorrow awaits you, teachers of religious law, and you Pharisees, hypocrites, for ye are careful to tithe even the tiniest income from your herb guardians, but you ignore the more important aspect of the law justice, mercy, and faith. You should tithe, yes, yes, but do not neglect the more important things. Israel and do not neglect the more important things. Did you get it now? So that is that is the challenge. Justice, mercy, fidelity are very important to the Lord. Very, very important to the Lord. And why they are weightier than tight, I've explained them. Wrong judgment passed, a man could lose his life. That is a weightier matter. Hallelujah, that's a waiter matter. God's mercy mm -hmm. is a waiter matter. I would rather choose God's mercy than to choose money. So it's better to seek God's mercy all the days of your life than to seek money. You know, if you have God's mercy, money will come. But if you lose God's mercy and you have money, you will still lose the money. And then the third one on the list is fidelity. Fidelity. In other words, in the eyes of the Lord, fidelity is a serious issue like i said a woman will prefer a woman will choose a faithful man than a rich man than a rich man hallelujah than a rich man so fidelity is not something to play down at all it's weightier than tight or money matter so it's evident that something is wrong Something is wrong. But do you know what? Christianity is one whole package and not two packages. You cannot choose to tithe or teach on tithe and then ignore things like justice, mercy, and faithfulness or fidelity. According to the Amplified Version of the Bible in that 22, Matthew 22, 23, 23, which gave us a good picture that the faith that was we read in in uh, what's it called in um in uh, in other versions is actually not faith it's actually fidelity hallelujah where the gospel of christ is concerned there is no one aspect that must be ignored even though we have overemphasized tithing or prosperity so much today that little or nothing is said about justice either in the church oh my god i just run out of time right now so on wednesday we'll continue right from that matthew 23 23 talking about weightier matters and things that are more important god bless you as for me i want to tell you that jesus christ is lord i will see you on wednesday